Atlas Minerals and Chemicals specializes in corrosion resistant coatings and linings for commercial and industrial applications. Atlas manufactures these materials in their Mertztown, Pennsylvania facility with sales representatives throughout the United States and the world. The products can be applied to new or existing concrete or steel substrates. Atlas offers several three component spray applied systems that can be used to coat horizontal, vertical, and overhead surfaces. They are suitable for floors, walls, ceilings, sumps, trenches, and dikes. Excellent physical characteristics such as abrasion resistance and wear resistance make them ideal for floors where there is forklift and truck traffic such as chemical production floors, warehouses, and loading docks. Excellent chemical resistance allows the systems to be installed in food processing areas and aggressive environments such as battery plants and metal processing plants. Atlas sprayable systems are easy to apply when you're familiar with the equipment. The quick spray machine is available for rental when you purchase Atlas materials and is supplied clean and ready to use. You need to supply a 110 volt AC power source, an air supply capable of supplying approximately 7 CFM of air at 80 PSI, and mixing tools. Safety glasses, gloves, a half mask respirator with an organic vapor cartridge, long sleeved shirt, pants, and a hat are recommended. The Atlas spray topping begins with a properly prepared substrate, either metal or concrete. The surface must be structurally sound, clean, dry, and free of all contaminants such as sealers, curing compounds, coatings, oil, dirt, and dust. Previously applied coatings or paint must be removed. Finished concrete substrates must be free of ridges, protrusions, fins, mortar splatter, and have a tight, latence-free steel trowel finish. Abrasive grit blasting or acid washing are recommended for removing loose surface latents. A finish similar to the profile of 100 to 120 grit sandpaper is suggested. Metal surfaces should be grit blasted to an NACE number one finish. When this is impractical, clean by wire brushing and wash with a degreasing solvent. Surfaces not scheduled for coating should be protected against overspray. After the surface is cleaned, it must be primed with Atlas ResClad E Concrete Primer. Open both the resin and hardener cans. Pour the hardener into the resin container and mix with a mixing blade attached to a drill or by hand. Pour the mixed material into a pail. Apply the primer with a brush or a roller. Make sure that coverage is even and there is no puddling. The prime surface should be tacky or dry before applying the spray system. Repriming may be required after 24 to 48 hours depending upon the temperature. Before mixing the spray topping, check the quick spray machine to familiarize yourself with the equipment. Silicone liquid is supplied when the spray machine is rented. Apply the silicone liquid to the rollers at least every other day. The machine is operated from the control box which is located on the front of the machine to the left of the wheel. The machine should be set to stop. Plug the machine in. Set the machine to run to turn it on. The machine can be set in forward or reverse positions. The middle position is neutral. Set the machine to forward for application. The control box is also used to vary the material flow by controlling the speed of the pump. Turn the machine to stop. Attach the air supply to the Chicago fitting on the inlet side of the air regulator at the front of the machine to the right of the wheel. Attach the supplied air hose from the outlet side of the air regulator on the rear of the machine to the air control valve on the pole gun. Check the inside of the pole gun to ensure that there is no residue in the barrel. The material orifice is attached to the tip of the pole gun head. Insert the air tip from the air control valve into the rear of the pole gun head. Leave approximately one to one and one quarter inch visible. The air control valve should be opened slightly at all times to allow a small amount of airflow. This will prevent material from backing up the air tip. Remove the powder and the resin in the hardener cans from the prepackaged unit. Pour the resin into a five gallon mixing pail. Scrape the sides to remove all the material and begin mixing. Add the hardener and mix for two minutes. Add the powder and mix until uniform. For the first batch at startup, a small amount of powder left out of the mix will allow the hose to wet out properly. 
Subsequent batches, using the full amount of powder, will be slightly thicker. Set the spray machine switches to run and forward. Adjust the pump speed using the control box to between 15 and 22, which corresponds to between 10 and 18 RPM. Add the mixed material to the hopper. Allow the material to work its way through the material hose until the consistency is the same as the material in the hopper. Turn the machine to stop. Apply silicone liquid to the end of the pole gun and attach it to the material hose and secure with a hose clamp. Return the machine to run. Open the air control valve on the pole gun to begin spraying material. A typical finished surface is uniform in thickness and appearance and contains no lumps. Hold the pole gun approximately two feet from the surface and slowly move back and forth to attain the desired thickness. One eighth inch to three sixteenth inches for floors, one eighth inch coatings for walls and ceilings. To attain a one eighth inch coating on walls and ceilings, two one sixteenth inch coats may be required. There must be material in the hopper at all times. The hopper should be constantly scraped down to prevent hardening of material. Hardened material may clog the air tip. When spraying is complete, turn the machine to off. Remove the material orifice from the pole gun head. Remove the air tip from the pole gun head. After material flow stops, reduce the air flow, but do not stop it completely. A small amount of air going through the air tip will prevent it from being blocked. Clean the machine immediately after spraying is complete or for an application delay of one half hour or more. The hopper should be nearly empty when cleaning is begun. Pour one pail of ResClad E125S cleaner into the hopper. Mix the cleaner with any remaining material. Use the cleaner in the hopper to clean the hopper and the exterior of the machine. Turn the machine to run to move the cleaner mixture through the material hose. Collect this material. The material coming out of the hose will change color from product to cleaner product mixture. Clean the outside of the pole gun, the material orifice, and the air tip with this material. When the level of cleaner is low, pour warm water into the hopper and mix with the remaining cleaner. Allow this mixture to work its way through the material hose again, using it to clean the pole gun, material orifice, and head. Small sponge cubes are provided for final cleaning of the material hose. Place a sponge in the hopper and allow it to work through the hose and pole gun. Repeat this procedure a minimum of three times. Turn the machine to stop. Disconnect the air lines from the air supply to the machine and from the regulator to the air control valve. Repack the machine in the crate and return it to Atlas. You have now installed a durable, abrasion and wear resistant surface suitable for foot and rolling traffic with excellent chemical resistance. If you have any additional questions concerning these or other Atlas products, call the Atlas Customer Service Department at 1-800-523-8269.